Okay, so I think this is gonna work. Hopefully we're all framed up and the light is good. I think the light is good. Is the light good? There we go. How's that? That looks probably awesome. Okay. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz and this is Ascension Presents. So I was thinking the other day, actually a friend asked me, Father Mike, how come all of like the best shows on TV right now are all TVMA? You know what that means? That's like, like the TV rating system. That how come like not the good shows, they're all kind of, they're kind of like dirty. There's Game of Thrones, there's The Walking Dead, there's things like buses driving by, there's, that's not a real TV show, but I think you can actually make it into a TV show. Think about it. Things like Hell on Wheels or Sons of Anarchy, all these TV shows, Mad Men, they're all TVMA, and the question is like, well, how come? How come like the, the best shows, the best written, the best directed shows, the most intriguing shows are for mature audiences? And I think it's because of this. I think it's because in every one of those shows, what they do is they try to get to something deeper. So example, um, Mad Men um, or The Sopranos, those are shows about a successful person who, who seems to have the ideal life, their descent into like ruin. Breaking Bad, same kind of thing, like what would it be like another descent, a show of a descent of a, of a good person, Walter White, to become the villain? It's just one of these intriguing kind of concepts. You have things like, a game, again, Game of Thrones as an example of this kind of other world that people kind of get lost in. It's the idea anyone can die. You might think it's about the Iron Throne, but it's about like this, this human drama that's bigger than any one person. I mean, even in the TV show, The Walking Dead, it's not just about zombies. Some people who don't watch it, they think it's just about zombies, it's just a dumb zombie movie, but it's actually a morality play. It's, it's the idea of in a world where there is no like a law, there is no authority, what's the right thing to do? Or if you don't have any destination, like should you just keep going? Should you just keep trying? What's the point of living? They're asking big questions. I think, I think a lot of times when you know we grew up watching TV shows that were written for kids. I mean, there were sitcoms and they were like Family Matters or there were Growing Pains and there were, um, or uh, what's, the, what's the one in San Francisco? Oh my gosh, what am I thinking of? Full House. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my uncle used to be one of the writers for Full House. But you know, we got tired of this idea of like, here's a, here's a conflict and in 21 minutes, it all gets wrapped up. And you know, you know, dad walks in and says to DJ Tanner, says, hey, you know, Deej, sometimes, this, and then the music kicks in and he gives the lesson. She's like, thanks, dad. He's like, oh, and then Uncle Jesse comes in and goes, yuck, yuck, yuck. I think we're tired of that. I think that a lot of times we want to say, is there a story out there that kind of encapsulates my life or the thing that I, I long for? I also think it's because they have a lot of sex and violence and there's a certain broken part of us that really wants to watch a lot of sex and violence and you know who you are. But other than that, this we want a bigger story and that's why I think scripture, the Bible, is, it's, it's, it's not just tailor-made for us, it's God-given to us because God knows our hearts and he knows what we long for. We long for a bigger story than something that's just simple. So the Bible has stories of, of good people who descend into ruin, like, I don't know, Adam or like, I don't know, King Nebuchadnezzar. You have the story of, of someone who uh, is in the midst of like this incredible suffering and just can see everything gets stripped from their lives and they can ask the question, why keep going on? Like Job or, or uh, Ecclesiastes, the, the, the author of Ecclesiastes, asking that question, why should I keep going? We have stories of um, other worlds where it just seems like it's not, it's bigger than just one human being. It's anyone can die, anyone can live, anyone can be the hero, anyone could be the villain. That's the story of scripture because God gets involved in someone's life and becomes a bigger story. The questions of, of, um, of what's right and what's wrong? That in the book of Judges, I mean, think about this. There was no king. They had no one to tell them like kind of what to do. So it says in the, in the book of Judges, it says, so everyone did what was right in their own eyes. And just, you can see how it just descends into this kind of, this madness, like the end of Mad Men or the end of Sopranos or the end of Breaking Bad, where it's just, I just did what I thought was right. That's why I think that, um, that the Bible is a book for grownups. And I think a lot of us are maybe, maybe grownups, are a little bit tired of kind of reading the kids' versions of the Bible. And you know what those are? Those are the, oh, the story of whatever, and I kind of know how that goes. Well, I invite you to take a look, a deeper look, and that's why I love, you know, Ascension puts out um, the Great Adventure Bible Timeline, which basically takes a different look, an adult look, at some of these stories that you thought you knew. So that's my invitation for you not an advertisement or a commercial for The Great Adventure, but it really in fact is The Great Adventure Bible Timeline with Jeff Cavins. It changed the way that I approached scripture and it took this Bible that I thought I knew and I, I knew it pretty well, but I knew it at a kid's level 
and it reintroduced me to this notion of like the Bible actually addresses the stories here connect with my imagination, they connect with my heart, they connect with my mind and my intellect, and they connect with my life. And I believe that God's Word to you will connect with your life as well. Once again, my name is Father Mike Schmitz. For Ascension, God bless.